What? Stainless steel stains? What? What? Hi guys, so before we get on with this video, here is a gentle reminder to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of all the channel updates. Stay connected with me on all the following platforms too. I would love to hear your thoughts and suggestions so do feel free to comment below. And if you would be kind enough to share this video with as many of your friends and family to help me get my word out there. Lots of love to you guys and now on with the video. Did you ever get a new stainless steel utensil and notice a stain like this? Or say this? What is your instant reaction? Oh my god, this is a duplicate product. Or I have been ripped off, haven't I? Or worse, is this even safe for cooking? Wait, 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 wait. Don't panic yet. These stains that you see on these stainless steel utensils are pretty common in fact. Some of them are referred to as bluish stains and some refer to them as rainbow stains. Some others also refer to them as heat stains. Now why do I say that these are pretty normal? Well, they are mostly caused by oxidation or excessive heat. Now let us find out if it is actually harmful to your health. To answer that question, we'll have to discuss what is stainless steel. Well, most people forget when they throw around the word stainless steel that stainless steel is in fact an iron alloy. It is actually iron and a mix of other elements that make stainless steel stainless steel. For example, an iron alloy can also be added with chromium, nickel, silicon, manganese, nitrogen, carbon and sometimes even titanium in different proportions to make stainless steel. For most durable stainless steel cookware, iron actually represents 50% percent of the stainless steel utensil and as we know what is the one failing of iron well iron has the tendency to rough in the presence of water or air moisture unless there is some protective coating over it to safeguard the iron from corrosion in the stainless steel alloy elements are present which help prevent iron oxidation and corrosion like chromium and nickel this is also why one of the benchmarks to determine the quality or grade of stainless steel is determined by the quantity of elements means like chromium and nickel. Now what does that mean? For example, we all know that when we talk about stainless steel, we hear grade classifications like 430, 304, 316, etc. 304 being one of the most commonly heard good quality of stainless steel. Now what is 304 grade stainless steel? 304 grade of stainless steel is nothing but 18 by 8 grade of stainless steel. At the same time, 430 grade of stainless steel is nothing but 18 slash zero grade of stainless steel and when we talk about 316 316 is nothing but 18 by 10 grade of stainless steel so what are all these numbers well if we're talking about 304 grade of stainless steel which is represented by 18 by 8 that means that 18 percent of chromium is present with 8 percent of nickel in the stainless steel alloy while the 430 grade has almost zero nickel content the superior quality 316 grade has almost 10 percent of nickel. Now this is why I said the quantity of chromium and nickel determine the quality of stainless steel. Basically the quality of preventing corrosion is the benchmark for the quality. So in terms of corrosion 316 is better than 304 which is better than 430. Still we haven't come to the point. Now why is there a bluish tint or a rainbow effect on my stainless steel? Sometimes it could be just hard water stain but sometimes it is clearly oxidized or clearly heat depressed. So what does this mean? The bluish tint is actually nothing but chromium reacting with the oxygen and forming oxidized layer of chromium oxide on the stainless steel utensil. But hey wait, wasn't oxidation supposed to have stopped? Well, chromium actually does that. Chromium reacts with the oxygen to prevent the utensil from getting further oxidized. So in this way, the iron is never oxidized. This blue murky rainbow effect layer will be formed but further oxidation will be stopped. So there is nothing to actually worry and this is neither harmful for your diet or for the utensil as such.
So I'm going to show you how I'm going to clean the burgner utensils. Now you can see this is a very hard stained utensil. So I earlier made some dry abzi, which is like a vegetable dry fry. Now I'm going to clean this up. I want to show you how much it sticks basically. This is how much of sticking that usually happens on burgner products. Not more than this usually. You can see the back is normal. It's not like got anything as such. Basically I've taken a basin and I've put a little water. So once the pot is completely cooled, that is when you wash these dishes because I wouldn't advise you to wash it before that. This was there in the instruction manual too. Once you completely let it cool, you immerse it in some soapy water. So I'm just gonna put some water in the basin here and just wash it. I'm using the basin just to show you how it can be washed because the sink will not have enough lighting. Just pouring some water. You can see the lid also meanwhile lid has normal stains like grease and oil stain go on a mild wash let me show you how easily this will get off i'm pouring some more water into this i would advise you use some soap water so you can use any liquid detergent you can use a normal rim liquid doesn't matter i'm just going to pour some uh, soap water into this and just gonna let it wait for a while before I clean it up so I've kept it for a few minutes so I'm just using a normal sponge and all I'm gonna do is slowly agitate the bottom you can see almost all the things stuck have gone that this is done I'm just going to rinse out change the water and bring it back so I have just rinsed both uh, the tub and changed the water and I have just rinsed the Bergner product too now as you can see most of the dirt is out and it is pretty sparkling clean and so less effort so that is the best part of this now I can show you another problem that comes from any stainless steel product has these uh, rainbow effects now I don't know if it is catching on the screen if you can see this kind of color effect this is called rainbow effect and this usually comes because of oxidation but do not freak out if you see this kind of patching on your utensil you don't have a fake utensil all the problem is is that you have to get these rainbow effects out this is pretty simple and easy to do and the little uh, hard water stains that could come if you don't wipe out your dishes I have been using this a bit carelessly I'm going to show you how I can make all little steel utensils sparkling clean and look very pretty and as if it was freshly bought it is simple I'm just going to put both these in because this was previously washed just I just now washed I'm going to put some more water and fill it up To add vinegar you can use vinegar or if you don't have vinegar and you have a ripe lemon you could use that too I usually have talk of vinegar just so that I can shine my utensils once in a while I don't do it very often I do it probably once a month or you know whenever I do a deep clean like for Diwali or something I'm just going to take about two caps Basically, a diluted vinegar water solution that is what this is just shake it up a bit uh, so I'm gonna leave it here for about 15 minutes and I'm gonna come back and show you how I'm gonna clean this up so it has uh, been 15 minutes now and I have uh, soaked this enough in uh, vinegar now we're going to dribble some baking soda or cooking soda on this Now as this didn't have any uh, stains as such, I'm not going to use the baking soda. I'm going to take a microfiber cloth. You have to make sure that the water is gone completely and it dries and then you can leave it out to dry if you want. I'm going to put the lids on both these items. These are the two utensils that I use 
every day for all my meals in spite of like heavy use the product is in pretty good shape and color so i hope this clears all about how to maintain bergner products and maintain other stainless steel products that you may buy if you are especially exchanging out your non-stick cookware and getting these stainless steel products then definitely follow these steps you don't have to do the vinegar wash or baking powder daily but you can do it once in a while when it gets really to shine then you can just do this cleanup routine on a daily basis i just wash it with soap and water once in a month or once in two three months i use the vinegar and baking powder routine so these are pretty roughly used to utensils and they are maintaining a very good shape in my opinion that's about it hope you like this video you give me a thumbs up if you like the content and if you have any more questions do jot it down in the comment section below do subscribe to my channel and uh, if you're already subscribed thank you for being here bye guys